The AK rifle will run almost forever, but when it goes down, most likely you will need these parts to fix it. I call that uh, AK bolt repair kit and the shameless plug for the AKU store. You can get those kits from our store and they literally will fit in the grip, pistol grip pocket. You could stack it there and have it with you forever. What we got inside is, of course, the firing pin, extractor claw, extractor claw spring, firing pin retainer pin, and the retainer pin for the extractor claw. This feedback is based, guys, on hundreds of thousands rounds of fired, and what I have seen in the field from you as well. So why the extractor claw? The extractor claw, especially on those newer AKs made in USA, I have seen them cracking from time to time. This is the extractor claw. And of course, if the extractor claw goes bad, you cannot pull out the case from the chamber after firing. So it is crucial that, that the extractor claw functions are correctly. I'll show you in the second how to get it and how to disassemble the bolt and how to exchange it. It's extremely easy. Firing pin. Firing pin is another one which I have seen a lot of damages done and sometimes it happens because of the operator fault. For some strange reason when, when the people are cleaning the bolt they forgetting to put that retainer pin and what happens is <laughs> I have seen that firing pin sliding out from the bolt and then getting smashed or deformed from the trigger and of course that creates the problems and uh, basically sometimes it can completely shut down your gun so it is always a good idea to have the replacement uh, firing pin. The extractor claw spring uh, this is something which is more annoying. These rarely goes bad. Uh, I have never ever almost seen them go bad. But I have seen people when they doing the maintenance on the bolt, they disassemble the bolt and that spring just flies away and gone. So, and good luck finding it, right? So that's why it is nice to have it in your kit. And the same goes for the uh, uh, retainer pin, for the firing pin and for the retainer pin for that extractor or claw basically right so it's not like they're going bad most likely what is happening people are just losing them and uh, they are gone and then there is uh, all madness and what to do and uh, everything uh, is uh, gone to disassemble the bolt you're going to need the punch tool it is in the ak cleaning kit and then at the bottom of the bolt you will find this hole and of course this punch goes to that hole and you're going i started already you're going to push out the firing pin retainer pin you don't have to to remove the firing pin you don't have to go all the way this should be enough let me see if i can slide it off there you go you can slide off the firing pin okay and if you have to change it because something happened to it the firing pin was damaged or something you will just slide in the new one just remember remember when doing this now i'm going to show you that way see it will go inside so what has to happen that firing pin has to clear that retainer pin so it will go that way to the bolt okay you will slide it in that way all the way in you will push it all the way in and then you will press that pin down and it will lock the firing pin from falling out so remember this side always has material taken out and this is done to clear the room for that firing pin retainer pin now we are going to tackle the extractor claw. For this, you have to push the firing pin, retainer pin, all the way to clear this space. So if I will stick my punch tool in, and maybe you can see it in camera, if not, I apologize, but it should be visible in the window. See, I push that retainer pin for the firing pin all the way 
out. You don't have to remove it completely from the bolt uh, and this actually is a good idea to not remove it, keep it that way so you won't lose it. But if you want to remove it all the way that's fine too. Now this should free up for us the access uh, to the retainer pin for the extractor claw it should be easy to remove it so now you have to locate that other hole so one was for the firing pin retainer pin and that one is for the extractor claw and what you're going to do is you're going to stick the punch tool again okay but i also use my finger to depress to depress extractor claw so you, maybe that one will work better push it of course that spring is fighting with me it will be hard on the camera but i will try to do my best and what's going to happen is you can see it you can see it that retainer pin is being pushed right now by me and i'm pressing that extractor claw still i want to I don't want to lose that pin there you go <laughs> that was a lucky drop and look i'm still holding with my thumb that extractor claw and the spring and that's done so i can i will do the control release on it and i'm not going to lose the spring there you go boom and now it fall out nicely and we have the extractor claw and the spring and of course now you can replace it with the new extractor claw and the new spring as needed it's a good idea when you have all this done to clean it use the q-tips clean the bolt when you have it out and keep it clean preserved for the future and that's pretty much it for taking the bolt apart to put it back together we'll do it in a reverse order we'll start with the extractor claw in the extractor claw back you have that opening and that opening is for our little spring so this goes inside the opening and now the extractor claw is ready to jump into that opening on the bolt face and there is no magic to it you will just basically drop it in like that and from the cutout on the extractor claw you see that it should more or less line up with that opening on the bolt face and this is the position you want to use your finger right now to press it on but before i will do that i like to take the retainer pin for the extractor claw and prepare it stick it to that hole which it drops in and here we have to perform the little maneuver which is extremely important so that pin has to be oriented so it will clear the retainer pin for the firing oh <laughs> the, the sucker just dropped in i will have to push it out but what you want to do is when you will be dropping that retainer pin for the extractor claw remember our firing pin retainer pin has to go through it through that portion which i don't know if like, if you can show it it's a special cutout it's right here that's the cutout for the retainer pin for the firing pin so now let me push this out and it should be extremely easy there you go because i don't have any tension uh, from the extractor claw but with all that set and done let me maneuver and guys because i'm doing this on the camera and trying to show it everything this looks like very complicated procedure but trust me when you're putting this uh, with your hands and you don't have to film anything this is extremely simple this is extremely simple construction okay so now i align the extractor claw on the bolt face more or less i'm going to use my thumb to push it the spring and the extractor claw and now we have to take care of that pin retaining pin for the extractor claw and literally i'm doing this with my fingers there you go boom it is in and that locked the extractor claw and the spring in the position and we are ready to put the firing pin 
back. So I'm taking the firing pin, sorry, sorry, my hands, and you locating, like we talk, that cutout portion, not the cutout, but like taking material off, which remember has to go like that and clear. We need that room to be open for that retainer pin. So I'm going to drop it to the bolt, maintain it, and now use my retard strength to push that pin down. And I don't know if I have enough strength to do that. Well, it moved, it moved, it started going, and now I have some resistance with from that retainer pin for the extractor claw. We're going to overcome it. Uh, you can use the AK Mag to tap that pin in, uh, but I have a nice uh, hammer. Let me just grab hammer and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm going to tap it. There you go. And what happened, I don't know if you guys noticed this, that extractor or claw retainer pin got aligned by force from that retainer pin from the firing pin. So you don't have to be perfect, you just have to make that opening for that pin to start going down and rest will self-align basically. And that's it, I'm tapping in, boom and the firing pin retainer pin is inside and now we'll see if we did that correctly when i will tilt the ball down boom look at that the firing pin is falling back but it's not falling out and it's freely moving this is the easiest test to perform the firing pin should be moving freely inside the bolt that's it, that means we did that correctly and the extractor claw is sitting nicely. The procedure surgery is uh, done, as I said, was nothing complicated. There is uh, one more thing which I wanna show you, which I think it is crucial to have on your kit as well. Recoil spring assembly is always fun to deal with. Let's see what we can do. First, I highly recommend to have something hard to support at the bottom. Again, if you are in the field, you can put the AK Mag at the bottom on the ground and use this as a support. And why we want to do this? Because now I will grab the spring and I want to move that spring down. And then I'm going to use my right hand and pull out the second portion of the recoil spring assembly and now we're going to create the little T just like that see everything holds now I don't have to fight the spring thanks to that now I can flip it open up with my finger open up with my finger the wire and you will remove the locking like a locking piece from the recoil spring assembly Right, we are not done yet. Now we can move and hold hold tightly now with your hand, and you can use the body to support it. That bottom of the T, slide it around the wire. You will release and free up this part of the recoil spring assembly, and now the whole spring comes out loose, just like that. And we can change all the components if we have to. If you want to just use and repair recoil spring, you can put the recoil spring on it. But if you want to put the whole and replace the whole thing, you can do that too. You can inspect, clean if you have to, and see what's going on with that recoil spring. But that's how you're taking the recoil spring apart. That's cool, Rob, but how you put the recoil spring assembly back together? All right, again, you're going to take the bottom portion. I'm going to start sliding the spring and it pays off to have that good support because now you have to pull that spring down and you gotta fight it right and especially if you got the new and stiff spring that's always a fun and as you can see we i managed to get that opening a little bit now i'm sticking my finger again into that other part opening the fork I call that fork, but uh, you can call it any way you want it. I'm going to create that T so I don't have to fight with that spring anymore. I'm going to take that cup, that top portion. Again, spread those wires and I will use the punch tool to show you. 
you got like a two hooks on right and the left side and those hooks are because in that cap on the top you have hole right and the holes are for those hooks to go in and prevent this from escaping so basically when we got that record spring assembly now i'm just taking my fingers stretching them out and boom I'm, i want to make sure that cap sits securely on the hooks yeah it does i'm going to hold it like that you watch your fingers okay don't get jammed but what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start sliding that or maybe i'll tilt it that way i'm going to start sliding that upper portion of the t so now i can release the spring slowly don't get jammed by the spring and boom look at that just like this magic was done and we have the recoil spring fully assembled easy i hope you guys enjoyed that video remember that little bag of goodie parts from the ecou store can spare you major headaches uh, down the line it's always good to have these parts handy so i would highly highly recommend it all that also if you have any questions please let me know underneath of the video as always i'll be more than happy to assist you with the answers that's it thanks for watching thanks for being with us and see you in the next video bye